All right, today we are talking more about equations, but specifically talking about some special cases that occur when we have equations. Now, normally when we have equations, we've gotten to the point where um, x equals some kind of number. I don't know what this number is, but x is going to equal something. x could equal 5, x could equal 10, x could equal um, 0 0.3, x could equal something. And we've gotten to that point so far. Um, but today, we're going to talk about what happens when um, x might not equal um, what we're thinking. We're going to talk about what happens today when we have something like... Um, 2 times x plus 10 minus 17 equals 5 plus 2x minus 2. We have an equation that looks like this. <coughs> What's going to happen here? Well, let's simplify both sides as much as we can. So over here, let's distribute. This will be 2x plus 20 minus 17. And then we can combine these two and get 2x plus 3. And over here we'll get, um, we have 5 and minus 2, we have 3 plus 2x. This is going to give us 3 plus 2x. Okay, so simplified both sides down. Now we're going to minus 2x, right, variables on both sides, get them to one side, minus 2x, and come over here and minus 2x. And, that, and and that's going to cancel that one out too. And we're left with 3 equals 3. <coughs> well, we're left with 3 equals 3. And that's fine. That's actually what we're trying to get to here. We're trying to get to um, this point. We're trying to get to get rid of our variables and just look at our numbers. And when we have... 3 equals 3. What that means is we have infinite solutions to this problem. Because I simplified both sides down and I got to uh, a number equals that number, that means that even though both of my sides were written differently, both of my sides are the same and I can put any value into x and it will give me the same answer. So that's what, that's what we're doing here. So we're putting every value we want into x, and it's going to give us that same answer. Because 3 equals 3, that's going to give us the same answer for every one of these equations. Any variable we put in is going to give us the same answer. Now, let's say I had something like... Um, <coughs> 3 times 4 plus x equals 3x minus 7. Okay, well, I'm going to distribute my 3. This is going to give me 12 plus 3x equals 3x minus 7. I'm going to minus my 3x to cancel it out. Minus my 3x. That's going to cancel out. I have no more x's anywhere. Um, so I've gotten rid of all of my x's, and this gives me 12 equals negative 7. And we can look at this and say, well, I know right now, because I'm a smart kid who's more than one and understand the concept of numbers, that 12 is not the same as negative 7. Those are different values. Because these are different values, there are no solutions. When we have different values, there's no solutions. We have the same values, there's infinite solutions. Okay, so we're going to make a little table to help us in our understanding. We're going to, we are in three rules for solving equations. First, we're going to talk about our solutions. We're going to talk about what that means. And the number of solutions. So solutions, what that means for us, and then the number of solutions that exist. So first of all, 
if I get to a solution and I get x equals some number, what this means is only one value of x makes the equation true. That should say true. That was a, a rough time writing that word. Only one value of x makes the equation true. And so with that, the number of solutions is 1. When x equals a number, or yeah, when x equals a number, there's only one solution that can exist for that problem. All right, if I have a equals b and um, a does not equal b, which means that they're not the same value. So if a number equals another number, but those numbers are different, this means no value for x will make the equation true. No value for x will make the equation true, and there are no solutions to this problem. So if I have two numbers and they equal things that are not true, there's no solutions. And then finally, if I have a equals a, or x equals x. So if I get the numbers all by themselves and they're the same number, or if I get to the point where x equals itself and they're exactly the same, then any value for x will make will make the equation true any value for x will make the equation true and we'll say that there are infinite solutions to these kinds of problems <coughs> when we get to the point where a number equals the same number there's infinite solutions Nothing equals, or a number equals a different number, no solutions, and x equals a number, one solution. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on this, and we will talk some more about it tomorrow. Have a great rest of your night.